Welcome back to Tomb Raider. We just escaped the compound. We're going to help out our new friend that we just met. And that's all I really remember from the last one. Oh shit, we're already getting shot at. Ah. All right. There's a guy up there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No. Okay, well, let's just go with this. Grab that ammo real quick. Hey. Oh shit. Wait. What are you doing? <laughs> he kept on swaying and to like the left or something. Okay, there you are. Ooh, herbs. I feel like I should up the difficulty a little. It's just a bit too easy. All right, now we've upped the difficulty. Hostile spotted. She's alone. I feel like I just fucked up by upping the difficulty. <laughs> And I died. Wow. Might have made a mistake with that up in difficulty. Hostile spotted. She's alone. Move out. Make it quick. All right. I think I have an idea. I got an angle. Advance. Cover me. There you go. I got absolutely fucked right there. Oh shit. Alright, let's hurry this on. Hurry this along, guys. Bottoms up. I that one didn't explode. I forgot to make it into a bomb. Running away. Okay. Okay then. Hostile spotted. She's alone. Move out. Make it quick. Got a flanking position. Die already! Oh, he was he was covered up in armor. That's why. Heal up! Heal up! Heal up! Don't have ammo. Okay, we survived that time. I, I was starting to get all in panic mode. 
This one didn't even blow up for some reason. Anything else I may need to collect? Bro, I could have had so many bombs. Time to get on out of here. I'm stuck on a branch. What happened here? Everyone got massacred over here. Oh, evidence. As we push deeper into the valley, I feel reassured that this is the work I was chosen to perform. My stigmata itch with sensation. It is a constant You're what? reminder of my higher purpose, of my singular position in this higher purpose. I was a child, innocent to the evils of the world. Then, one night, I woke in such pain, a scream on my lips. Blood dripped from my palms when I saw it. I was terrified. It marked me. It meant something. I cannot shirk this mission any more than I can shirk my own hands. That one's a weird one. Wait. Oh, my waypoint is all the way over there. Okay. Jacob? I think I'm close oh, to Oh, yes, our off. friend Jacob. He Bad might betray us. In a military order. Trinity. Bro, they work for Tesla. <laughs> Ooh. Another Soviet plaque. Enemies must answer for their crimes. Mm, bit grim. That's a bit harsh. Oh, someone just got fucked up. Aha, sticks. Fight, fight, fight. Way to go, Jacob. What took you so long? I thought I lost you back there. Not a chance. Thanks for getting me out of that place. Let's move. We can get up through there. Watch out. Okay, we're going to have to start running for sure. Oh shit. Come on, Laura, run. That's a bit overpowered, don't you think? For just two people? I know I took a lot of people out already, but damn. You don't need missiles to take me on. Damn, girl, what are you. Why are you going all the way in the cold water? No. You're gonna drown. Swim down, swim down. We gotta swim down. Come on. I see the exit. Hurry up. And I see my way. You're gonna drown. We're not gonna die like this. Come on, faster. No, we didn't make it. We made it. Where's Jacob? Jacob should have followed us in the water, so where is he? They're coming right for us. <laughs> ah! 
Run! Come on, get up here. Leave for it. Nothing's gonna stop us from getting away from this damn zip line! <laughs> Oh shit! Another zip line to save the day, and we lost our zip line. Now we're under the sea. Well, I was not expecting that to just show up out of nowhere. Okay, then. Take it easy. Drink this. It'll help. You could have left me in that river. Would you have left me? I'd have thought about it. <laughs> what makes you think I didn't? <sighs> so what makes you risk so much to come here? The divine source. I know what you're looking for. But I want to know why. When I was young, it was just my father and I. He was an archaeologist, too. In his last years, he was obsessed with myths about immortality. Of course, no one believed him, including me. Our last conversation was a fight. He... He took his own life. I thought I'd come to terms with it, but... Something else happened. And I saw something that I thought was impossible. It changed everything. I realized my father was right. He died alone and broken, but he died for something. So you believe the Divine Source is real? I honestly don't know. But if there is any truth to it, I have to find out. It, it needs to be researched and studied. It could make a difference to the world. It's not something to be hidden away. A difference is not always for the best. Would you wish Trinity to have the secret to immortality? Of course not. Then I would ask you not to abandon your quest, but to alter its path. Join me and my people. Help us repel Constantine and Trinity. Then after that's done, And you leave our valley untouched. But knowing that you've done the right thing. No. The right thing I'm doesn't sorry. sit well with Laura, do sadly. Can't. Or won't. I'll fight Trinity with you, but my goal remains the same. If I give up now. You'd feel like you'd be letting him down. Not just him. I need answers, Jacob. I need to understand. You're leaving. Right now, my concern is for my village. It's over the mountain pass. A day's journey on foot. 
but there may be a faster way through the old copper mine. You rest. I'll be back soon. Ha! Resting? No. We're gonna go explore. And while we explore, we're gonna get ourselves into more trouble. Are you there? Damn it. Where is he? Nothing important in here? Okay. So I have to go. Ooh, what's this? That looks fun. Overwatch. We have contact with the native in the old sawmill. We wounded her, but it looks like they set traps around the perimeter. I've got one casualty so far. Doing a sweep. Didn't really want to listen to the whole monologue about. Oh no! <laughs> Well, that's just another way down, I guess. We're going to do this little optional area real quick. Oh shit, we hurt ourselves. Do not let the target slip away. We need to know why they were following. There's an optional tomb as well. It's right here. <laughs> no. Bravo hasn't run into any more resistance along the way. But find the native. We need to get Seriously not out. dead yet? I'm taking fire! He took way too many arrows already. Did I really hiding in here somewhere? Did I really get that done that fast? Come on, I loot this shit. Maybe one of these lockers. Ooh. <laughs> Blood. It hurt. Stop! No closer. I'm not with Trinity. My name is Lara, and your gun isn't loaded. I can see the cylinder is empty. The firing pin never worked anyway. You're hurt. I just need to. Sit down for a moment. Lara, was it? I'm Nadia. I uh, could use your help. What can I do? My grandfather snuck out of the village in the night. I think he's headed for the Wicked Vale, where the witch Baba Yaga lives. There Baba Yaga? What? No. Invaders caught me. Before I was born, the witch killed my grandmother. Grandpa always talked about revenge, but I never thought he'd actually go through with it. There isn't much time, and I'm in no condition to go myself. We have to find him. I'll head out that way and see if I can pick up his trail. Oh, thank you. The path to the Vale is through the cave. To <sighs> Jacob's people were forced to work here. We're going to head on to the Baba Yaga. What the fuck? There was something over here chasing them, obviously, so.
Found the entrance. No. Nope. Come on. Woo! That was pretty easy to kill. That was just a mountain lion, wasn't it? Or a leopard? One or the other. I can't tell. Okay. Let's see if we can find this guy. Anybody here? I'm just playing a bit of Minecraft real quick. Sorry if you're stuck in that cage. I thought it was like the uh, first game for shooting the rope arrow. No, it's a different one way. It's just like normal shooting Laura, now. I found a radio on one of the invaders you killed. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. I can monitor the invaders' frequencies from here while I patch myself up. I'll let you know if I hear anything useful. What more can you tell me about the wicked Bale, Nadia? My people stay far away from that place. They have for centuries. When the Soviets were here, they tried to build an outpost in the Vale. Ooh. That one was close. Grandpa told me all about her. She lives no! in the Well, we died. We couldn't save your dad. I'm sorry. He's probably being eaten by Baba Yaga. Almost fucked that up. <laughs> oh, they're not gonna do the speech now because I died. Shit. Steady. We got this. I'm a pro at this now. Laura, hang on. I'm picking up a transmission. Wait, I need to know where this optional tomb is. It's all the way over here. Yeah, it sounds interesting. Whatever it is, we'll get to the bottom of it. No! I want to go inside, so we're going inside. If I could lower the gate, I should be able to climb higher. Map has been updated. Oh, wait. 
Okay, only this one area has been updated. Come on! Without this place, this divine sculpture of wind and rock, we would have been lost. The story of the scout who found this place is well known to us all. But most of you do not know how close we came to dying. We were lost in the mountains. No food, no hope. We had begun to doubt the prophet himself. But the scout heard the sound and took it to be a sign. He alone ascended these cliffs, drawn by the music. And from there, he saw our salvation. This is not just a shrine to him and his bravery, but to the strength of our faith. It's gonna scooch on by. <sighs> ah, I see now. Say you never forget the first time you hear the sound. My parents took me here to contemplate the mysteries from beyond the shrine. In time, I will bring my children here. They say that without the music of the mountains, our ancestors would have wandered the earth until they died. But instead, these mountains called them home, just as it calls to me. All right, I think I know what I gotta do. I gotta break that wall right there. I see something over here. this blade. Got it. Now to open the door. <laughs> I did it. Formation. 
station. We found a secret! <sighs> this was just like Codex. the galleon. This one is a series of meditations on willpower. I learned inner strength. Wow. So like self-positivity and stuff? Now on to the actual mission. The wicked veil isn't far now. Just head down that wooden walkway along the cliff. Come on. There we go. A ceremonial cloth worn by priests during mass. Everything's just falling apart here, I guess. Ah! There's a small camp here. Sounds like Grandpa made it that far, at least. You're almost into the veil. Well, this far wasn't that hard. It's, I'm pretty sure further down that's going to be the tough part because... You said Baba Yaga, and I'm thinking we're gonna fight a legit monster. But if it was just the damn cat, then it's not really that big of a deal. Nadia, I think I found your wicked veil. I don't know if it's Baba Yaga, but there's something out here. Whoa! Be careful. <gasps> this is her land. Nadia, my granddaughter, by now you already know, I am going into the veil to kill the witch, Baba Yaga. I have gone to seek revenge for your grandmother. There are newcomers in our valley, armed men arriving in helicopters. I do not know what they want, but I know if I am to go, this is my last chance. You deserve to know the truth, to know why your grandpa is not a wise man. I have become, with hard work, a good man for your grandmother's sake. But it was not always so. I came from the West, where even a small village has thousands of inhabitants. I was a lazy young man, and I dreamed of an easy life when I joined the party. A comfortable desk in a big city. But they sent me here, to the ends of the earth, to watch men and women work and starve and die to participate in their punishment. I knew it was evil, but I did not know how to fight until I met her. I'm really not wanting to be here right now, but like that's creepy on all, all on its own. And it's a campsite. So I can fast travel to Baba Yaga whenever I want. Me and her are going to be spending so, so much time together. It's like we're going to be besties. Oh, wait, I want to see what's over here real quick. Just a creepy doorway. Okay. Nothing I can really do about it. Ah, this looks pretty. Probably bad for me to breathe this stuff in, though. Ah, drugs. Pollen drifting in here. Flowers. What did you say? What did you say? I, I can't understand you. Something's wrong. My head is spinning and... Oh, no. The drugs are kicking in. Oh wow, this no, is must be dreaming. This is no fun. Can't be. Can't be. Oh gosh. Uh, I don't wanna be here. Just keep moving. 
moving. It's gonna go down here. <laughs> Dad? Laura. Laura. Dad? No, it can't be. No, wait. I'm close, I'm close. Man, what kind of flowers are these? Where am I? How, how far does this path go? It's not real. Not him. Dad, stop. Please don't. Oh, shoot. God, no. Got to get out of here. That actually kind of got me. <laughs> Ah, uh, I hate this. I hate that. I just want to leave, please. No, no, this isn't. This is fucked. It's a It's a house chicken. Oh shit. Demon dogs. Nope, it hit me again. Oh shit. Oh no. More demon dogs. No. Fuck off, demon dogs. So Baba Yaga's kind of scary. I think. What happened? You started coughing, said something about flowers and pollen, and then nothing. I thought the witch had killed you. I think I was hallucinating. God, I hope I was. Hallucinating? There, there is a flower in a valley that can bring on visions, but the effects are too weak. Any idea what this place is? I see ducks and pipes. Soviet from the looks of it. It has to be the outpost the Soviets built to study the ruins. My grandmother was a scholar and they brought her here to help Come on. research, but climb up. It was the last time Grandpa ever saw her. There was only one survivor, an officer who stumbled out a few weeks later. He said the witch made them do things. I need ammo badly. Does anybody have? Oh no, Someone Baba Yaga. Recently, 
building on top of the ruins. What do you see? Some sort of makeshift distillery. It smells just like the flowers. Shit. Of course. She's refining the pollen, weaponizing it. There's no magic here, Navi. I just someone very clever. Wait, but if it is just a person, then wouldn't the pollen affect her too? If she can resist it somehow, then so can we. It's been weeks since these bastards dragged me from the Gulag, from Yvonne and my daughter, to this strange vale. They have tasked me with finding some way of counteracting the unusual effects of the pollen that hangs in the air. Now I believe I have a formula that may work. An extract from the seed pods of the plant, the liver of animals that consume the flowers and have metabolized the toxins, a phenothiazine derivative. The last ingredient is a risk. They have it in large quantities around the Gulag, where it is used as an insecticide. It may also act as a rudimentary antipsychotic, bearing a chemical similarity to other compounds I have studied. Or it may be poisonous. I will try the mixture on myself tonight. So she drove herself crazy is what basically is what that something. paper said. One of the prisoners wrote down a formula that might counteract the effects of the pollen. It has to be for my grandmother. The witch killed her, and now she's going to help save Grandpa, just like in one of his stories. Uh, Nadia. Have faith, Lara. Hop back to the Soviet installation where we met. I'll help you find what you need. Okay, so there is a cure for this, like, pollen hallucinogen. Anything important real quick? So I'm supposed to head back now. It was already a hassle to get there. Did I get it? I got it. Woo, my shot's just getting e much better. We gotta go to these little spots, I guess. We're looking for po uh, a way to cure the poison so we don't get affected by it so easily. Oh, wow, there's one near here. It's gonna be in here, isn't it? Yep, it's definitely gonna be in the damn cave. Get the crap out of me right there. It's the flowers. Woo. Just need the seed pods now. Scaring the shit out of anything that walks by me. Is 
Come on. Something you'll want to hear. I'm patching you in. Bravo team is still MIA. We haven't got any transmissions since the distress call. We're gonna need to send a rescue party. Finish up your patrol around the Soviet installation. See if you can pick up the native girl's trail. She's involved in Bravo's disappearance somehow. We need better intel before we send more of you in there. Copy that. Can you get somewhere safe? I'm in one of those old safe houses and I have stairs set outside. Worst case, there's a tunnel underneath I can use to escape, but I still need to finish going over the manifest. Is this normal for you, Laura? I'm not used to it. You know, people trying to kill me. I don't think it's something you can get used to. Just stay safe. Bingo. Just wow. I need to get in there somehow. Someone scratched something below. Directions to something hidden. More propaganda. Work hard to fight cold and hunger. I'm at the base of the old Soviet mill. I'm making my way to the mine entrance at the top of the facility. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. Another sculpture. But this one looks like a game. Okay, um... It. I'm mixing the ingredients now. Any word on that patrol? Just picked up another transmission. They're on the move. Where are they now? They're... oh no. They're headed straight for you. You might be able to sneak past them, but it's probably too late. Sorry, Hello there, buddy. Oh, 
Oh wait, locker. Let's see what's inside here real quick before we go. More scrap. report comes to you following an unprecedented discovery in the mountains of Freedom Station. Our deep mine crew has broken into a massive cavern filled with incredible ruins and artifacts, the likes of which have never been found in the motherland. The workers that we acquired from the native population have become agitated following the discovery. They clearly know something about these ruins. We will begin working the prisoners around the clock, for I believe we are on the verge of an even more amazing discovery. Why is it being so laggy all of a sudden? Okay. So where am I going to have to go? Back to that area. Okay, we're going to have to go all the way back. All right, we're back in the tomb of Baba Yaga. Two doses. Got to make them count. Initial contact was made with the elderly native male at 0700. At first, we believed he was participating in an assault on the facility, but he proceeded away and through an unmapped canyon. We received authorization to pursue at a distance, and already we've encountered ruins and other promising signs. We're trying to keep calm out here, but this looks like a big find. That discovery bonus is as good as ours. So now the plants should have no effect on me, correct? That should be how it works. It's working, Nadia. Everything looks normal is the wrong word, but nothing like the last time. Good. I've made my own antidote and enough for Grandpa, if we find him. I'm on my way to meet you now. I'm on my way to fight a witch. Scarecrows, of course. That makes more sense than actual skeletons okay there's nothing over here this can't be the same place I was lost in here it's all wrong lost the old man entering the veil lost Fisher lost Parker just gone no trace <sighs> can't trust the eyes seeing things Corpses. Worse. Things that walk. So huge they hide the stars. Oh, can't tell what's real. Not sure there is a real. Is it the eyes? The eyes have to go. My hands are steady now. Billings goes first. Stop! Hold still! This guy was losing it. He was seeing probably what we were seeing earlier. Oh, poor guy. Nadia, what do you know about these ruins out here? Even before the witch made her home there, our people avoided the veil. The founders were building a shrine out there, but something <coughs> happened to them. None of us have been in there in generations. Be careful. Even if your visions weren't real, that place is still deadly. We've uh, mastered Baba Yaga's main trick. Now we gotta face her on her own turf. Come out, you witch! The ruins now. This doesn't look like a shrine. This was something functional. I see ropes and wooden gears. 
The Founders built lifts elsewhere in the valley to move people or supplies between the peaks, but they've all fallen apart now. That has got to be what it is. See if you can make your way up to the top. I'll be right there. I'm in the canyon now. I'll let you know when I've arrived. That's a massive fucking puzzle right there. I did it. I got the right angle, I think. Yeah. ropes to get back up. Ah, stop lagging on me. Oh, wait. I almost forgot. Uh. <laughs> I've gotten so tired of this damn puzzle, like... <sighs> okay, I gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Ah, it's all... Breaking down! Fucking hook onto this. Let's get this damn. The other. There we go. Finally. Go. We finally made it. The house. Oh, look at that. The creepy house. The kept the lift running all this time. It looks like she even made a few improvements, but. I don't think those ropes will survive many more trips. It only needs to make one. Two. I'd like to come back down. Eventually. She has a very good point there.
Try pulling that lever over on the platform. Maybe it will get us moving. And up we go. Okay. We're on our way to the witch's house. This is going to take a while. Your witch is clever. Everything in this vale is arranged to perpetuate the myth of Baba Yaga, and the pollen does the rest. The last time I saw the lift, it looked nothing like this. What did you see? Just as the legend says, a house walking on giant bird legs. But without the pollen, it's just an old contraption. I'm sorry. I was so sure of Grandpa's story. She's Russian. Why is my well. my game is like Nadia, it's possible going crappy speed all of a sudden? He was a prisoner in the Gulag, you said. I didn't say that. Not exactly. Grandpa was a guard. My grandmother was the prisoner. She was a brilliant scientist, and they brought her out to the Vale to help study something in the ruins. But then the witch came. Grandpa never forgave himself. Killing the witch won't bring her back, but I understand. Let's just hope we can reach him in time. I need to find a campsite. As soon as possible. <sighs> Made it. <gasps> Is that what I see? Nadia, come quick. It's a grandpa, apparently. <laughs> Nadia. Oh. It's the pollen. Here, let me. Grandpa, can you hear me? I'm surprised we actually found him already. I tried. I couldn't save her. I tried. Shh, it's okay now. I'll stay with him, Laura. It's time. You only have one more dose remaining. Make it count. They weren't speaking. Well, that might make it better. I I had turned off motion blur by accident. Well, not by accident. I was wanting to try to see if it would run better. It didn't. It made when it kind of worse. Working in the gulag became too strong. I would lash out. A stolen screwdriver, misplaced paperwork, futile gestures that would never balance the scales. One day, I was caught taking a stupid risk. Your grandmother, Serafima, she spoke up, took the blame. They beat her mercilessly, but I was saved. When I found a moment to thank her, she spat at my feet, told me I had risked my life for nothing, challenged me to do more. You have so much of her in you, Nadia. At first, I thought her cruel. She gave me no credit for my little acts of disobedience. That place, the gulag, it, it crushed hope and ate what little scraps of dignity remained. Every day I did not fight it with my whole heart, she said. I was complicit in atrocity. She demanded my honesty because she knew I was capable. It was the greatest kindness anyone had ever shown me, and I loved her for it. That's sweet. But yeah, turning off motion blur was probably a bad choice. But... It is that time, actually it's way past that time, for us to stop the video. Hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, please leave a like. And if you are coming to my channel more often, please subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.